we out. What's pop locking, y'all? Big cool boy, the body puppets, West Coast pop lockers. Down here at Cool Boys Boxing Camp and Dance Academy. And this is my YouTube channel where I allow pop lockers to come and express themselves. Talk about what happened, talk about how it went down, and talk about what you gonna do or what you did. You feel me? This is Cool Boys Pop Locking Channel. Let's have some pop lock talk, y'all. Talk your shit. Booyah! On the dance floor. Oh, what up, Pop Lockin' G? Well, G. What's happening, fellas? What's Pop Lockin' with y'all, man, on I'm, this I'm, weekend? I'm, I'm trying to do it like you and Cool. You out on the um on the strip? You and Brad getting y'all Pop lock on? Cool Boy getting like nine and ten classes? I mean, damn. What the nigga got to do to get put on? I love it, man. I got <laughs> all right? these Pop Lockers in here. Uh, I got all these Pop Lockers in here. I'm going to hey. do that. I'm going to do that thing in Phoenix uh, next Friday. I'm going to Friday. And come back Sunday, do a little gap, gap, gathering out there, and then get ready for the big one in LA. Midnight, catch Next this one. wave real quick first, homie. Catch this wave real quick. Uh, let's see. You know that about that? What you know about that? Cool. Throw it to Pop Lock and G. Throw it to Pop Lock and G. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You need the beat. Hold on, you need the beat. Hey, that's to you, G. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hey, man, How you doing out there? Let me ask you a question. What song that you can put on that can come on and that will make you be like, you know what? I'll get down versus anybody off of this jam. Because that's the way this song makes me feel. I thought if somebody asked me that the other day, it's a couple, but that one, that one, where anybody can get it, I don't care who it is. Yeah. One are better in the building. Oh, shit. My G, what's up, homie? <laughs> this is dope, man. I got some pop lockers in the room with me right now. I was, guess, saying, I was saying... On our bandit, pop lock and G. Oh, wait a minute. 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 South Central, Atlanta, funny. OG, on the fucking map. This is a cool lineup right here. That's cool. That's cool. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? What's up, fellas? Hey, doing? What's up with I you, I see all my peoples. I see That's my right. peoples. That's hey, right. Hey, you look like a smooth-ass <laughs> R&B singer. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, like man. You're going to max somebody's woman down, homie. <laughs> hey Bandit, you you need you need a backup dancer or something? You need because you look like, you about to put on an album. Yeah. When you, when's your hey, release hey, party? Bandit look like a superstar, don't he? How much them glasses? Right. Them right. glasses what about three racks, three four racks? Huh? Right. Hey, you know. What <laughs> hey, don't front hey, now, hey, nigga. Hey, don't front now. Hey, y'all want some don't good looking dudes, man. Hey, that's that pop locking youth, homie. Because between all yeah. of us, we're down here three three hundred years old, ain't we? <laughs> yeah. I used to play tag with Yoda. Well, I'm, 50. <laughs> I'm 56. I've been doing this since I was eight, seven, eight. So, hey, uh, that's just how it is, you know? That's I'm the, I'm the Who the oldest in here? I'm the baby. Who the oldest? I think I'm the baby, right? No. <laughs> you, you, I've been, how, how old are you, baby? Uh, I'm 57. Oh, snap. Got me by a year. So I guess yeah. you, you the man in Snap, huh? I'll be 57 yeah. next July. Well, well y'all know I got recruited by somebody look younger than me, right? Two years younger than me. Pop and crap. They was younger than you? Mm -hmm. By two years. Well, wait, right, wait, right. Wait. They wait, needed a I little man say, for the group. Say his age. <laughs> Man, he, he, lost going to, he know. Oh, we lost his okay. mic. I think he said 56. Okay, your mic, hey, cool boy, your answer. Um, my, my, um, hey, 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 your mic is muted. Let's do it. Let, let, let's dance across the floor. 
That one. Is that there there's three of them. But yeah, that's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look, uh-huh. let's do this. I'm going I'm to ask all of y'all the same question. I had asked Midnight. Here's the question. So, uh, Pop Lock and T, get ready to have an answer for it. One on Bandit, get ready to have an answer for this. Snap, you get ready to have an answer for this. I asked Midnight, what song can come on that will make you be like, you know what? I will take any fade. I will get down against anybody when this jam come on. Christmas rap by uh, Curtis Blow, the instrumental. Are you the serious? The instrumental of it. The so instrumental. Like, would you like the bass line to it? No, just the whole group. If you listen to that instrumental and you move the temple up like two notches, oh, oh, y'all can get it. Y'all can line up. All of y'all can line up. I had to save, <laughs> I had to save Snap for last. Because when Snap does yeah, them splits... No, dude, you better, you better take me splits, first. No, 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 I gotta take you for last. Because you're going to wrap me up, bro. Because when you be doing them splits and then you come back up sliding, oh, it's done. That's a wrap. I, I can't get with that. I, 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 I can't get with that. Hey, midnight, I didn't see that one coming. I didn't expect you to say that. Yeah, it's a few songs, bro. It's a, it's a few songs. Like, I got this track right here. When when I go to Phoenix, I'm about to let them see hear some of that real, and I put some tracks on there. It's hard, maybe instrumental for Cold Blooded, Rick James, but the instrumental, not the regular songs, the instrumental. Right. What, you know, what jam? What jam cut you loose, homie? I never ever had like one song, man. I know it's so many. I of never them. ever. I so many. Name. That's a fan. I mean, I can say Sexy Dancer by Ooh. Prince. I can say, you know, Wicker Rap. I can say the See, one by Redman. Um, Redman, EPMD. I mean, I would have to say in my time today, I would say it's a song done by the Beast Slayer that I used in that, yeah. in that, that competition. That, that song really like kicks me in the high gear. Like I'll battle anybody right. right on that song. If it, even if they, even if we're at an event, I don't feel like busting. If that song come on, I'm busting. You know what was oh, interesting shit. that you just said that really just tripped me out. Hmm. You chose one. One of your songs was a was a hip hop group. APMD. That was the shit. Yeah. They had some shit. They had yeah. some gangster shit. You know. Dum 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 dum. Mm-hmm. I leave it down like a nine nine beers, but, but Bandit, was, I'm gonna put this. That. I'm gonna put this in your face because you still don't remember when we was at Venice Beach. Because back then, a lot of cats don't know. Before um, B Boy Summit was out, all the pop lockers, we was all going to Venice Beach, mm-hmm. especially on the holidays. So right. Animation was basically the MC. That's when we was in the pit. Remember when Animation? He told everybody, anybody want to battle, anybody want to call somebody out, get them now. And I remember that you, one. Bandit. You would kept saying, "I want him." I want him. Yeah. He was pointing at me, and I was like, "Shit! All these motherfuckers, you want me, but you don't you remember was, that." You I was remember up on that. the stage, though, right? No, I was standing right next to you because you came up to me. You was like, "I want him. This is what I want. I want him." I'm like, "Shit!" Um, because um, because um, I, I remember that. I remember that, but it, I came up there for animation. Okay, so I don't midnight, know, but I, I didn't just, come up there specifically for you. Midnight, I came up there for you. Midnight, I, mean, I, I just know him. the text. And then, I when been, I jumped on a, then when I jumped he on the stage, down he already knew you. who I was. Mm-hmm. I just I was nervous. I ain't battling you. I, I was just nervous. I'm like, shit, he want me. I'm about to bring my A game because that's when you was on fire. You was shutting was, dudes I down. So, I, I was saw so, that. Bro, I was so arrogant. <laughs> I was so arrogant back then. <laughs> listen. Y'all crazy. Listen. I'll say it like no, that. I was so arrogant. I know. I'm like, shit. I was so it, arrogant back then that I'll battle anybody. I needed I needed people to know who I was. I couldn't wait to show off my stuff. And you so had I two white girls with you. I don't know one was your girl. You, you know, had I'm two white girls. You. I turn to you and I will call you out. That's just how mm-hmm. it was back then, though. You was just pointing at me. You was just pointing at me, and I'm looking around. Freak mm-hmm. Daddy Mike was over there. Jerry, um, Bobby the Turbulent. Everybody was out there because everybody was just sizing cats up. And I'm yeah. Like, well, this is about to go down. Yeah, you know, because that's yeah. how you met back in the day. You met with battles. You didn't. Yeah, and animation was on the stage, orga- organizing all the shit. And was I oh, that shit was fun. Huh? Was I Good. Peace, up, man. I was rest up there, in right? Peace, rest in peace, to Mr. Animation, man. Matter of fact, let's give him yeah. five seconds, moment of silence for the homie because he's still he's still yeah. relevant to the pop mm-hmm. world today. That's right. That's right. That's right. Pop lock love. That's right. 
Black love. Black love. Black love. Black love. Hey, look. Hey, G, answer the question, man. What song moves you, homie? Man, you know what? Cool, man. That, that That's a damn good question. I do got a couple of them. But I'm going to say one, one of the top ones that gets my blood thick is when I hear that damn Egyptian lover, Egypt. Because <laughs> build up in that motherfucker, and you can just be building up to it, you know what I mean? But then after that, I might have to go with something like Art of Noise, you know what I mean? Oh. That 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 was kind of that gets my blood going too because it got great. Yeah, I can yeah, see, that you, I see drum. you get down to Art of Noise. See, you know yeah. what I like about this man is, um, you know, we all OGs right here, and a lot of young. Pop lockers, the your younger generation is gonna watch this and they're gonna listen to the songs that you guys are calling out because the songs are familiar with us because we grew up with them, but these kids ain't gonna have no idea of what who Art of Noise is and none of that. Well, so cool. they're gonna go it, back, it goes, look, they gonna go back, look the song up, and be like, Oh, I see why the big homies get down to this. It goes back right, to the DJs. The DJs don't do their history. The DJs do not do their history. They play certain songs, and then the young cats be like, I'm tired of that song, that that song. But us five, we had a whole history of different shit. These DJs yep. have the slightest clue. They don't even play shit from, uh, I can go back, like 78, 79. It's Izzy Brothers hits we would get down to. DJs yeah. play. It's this right, shit from arcades. It's yeah, shit from that, OJ. That has, OJ that has beat, a lot. They don't play. It's stylistic. But that was shit. Young. They don't play. When we was all younger, getting it in, these cats right nowadays, they don't know. If they heard that shit that we was growing up to, they'd be like, okay, wait a minute. This old school shit is funky after all. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? But, you know, but that's the DJ. That, that has a lot to do with the industry itself, bro. At the time that we were coming in the game, everything was becoming brand new. This was the first time we were seeing tuts popping, ticking, mm -hmm. locking. It was at its freshest point. So when mm -hmm. the music was hitting, everybody was dropping a popping song. Michael Jackson had a song you could hit to. Prince had a song you could hit to. Izzy Brothers, the Stylistics. I mean, That's like the eight, stylistics, right? But That's like it was so many. Eight. Eight. It was so many people coming into the game that was dropping so many songs. So we got we got the the the, the top apples off the tree. The right. game, after the industry got saturated with music, now this new generation, they have no idea what these songs are about or even who does these songs. So we know, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Well said. OG Snap. What's up? <laughs> he said, what's up? What song what song gets you getting down, homie? Well, you you know what? It's 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 I was thinking the whole time, glad you saved me for less. It's a trip because we don't realize that we go in a zone. Or so I mean, not to change the question, but I go in a zone when I hear certain music. So it's about 15, nice. 20 that I'll break on anybody with right and this is the best point this is the trip you got to think about this when you hear a new so uh, record song for the first time and that shit is hitting you asking yourself at the end of the song how did i know when the breakdown was coming how did i know it's gonna go tick 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 because you mm -hmm. feeling it that's mm -hmm. the zone so it's, a, it's not. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you finish because I gotta, I, was, I gotta go on. I you what you said. To say, if I had to pick a record, I wouldn't know. Now I got to something for you. I'm, I'm, what, I'm, I'm gonna speak for you, man, because dancing with you. For those who don't know, uh, me and Snap danced for years with each other in the crew of West Coast oh, yeah, yeah. Lockers. And um, one of the songs, but one of the artists, not even you, just would pop to, but you would. Riding your vehicle, bumping all day, every day. Big shout out to the legendary West Coast legend, Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I feel you on that. Sure. Yeah, hey, Ice Cube. Yeah, Snap Ice Cube will make me friendly. Yeah. No. You, I, I feel well, you on that. I, I, I got to get you on something before we forget. When you talking about the zone. As many years as you were doing street shows, when we doing street shows like on Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen you doing and tech do many shows. It was one jam. It was um RJ's um RJ Pop. Mm -hmm. When that came on, 
when that came that? on, you don't even remember, but you was in a totally different zone. Yeah. And 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 me and and, and Gizmo were looking like, damn, snap is on one. You did your splits, but now you did all your moves, but you did them in a whole nother way. I was looking like, oh, I, I gotta get some lights off that. Midnight, that's for this. And and, and Bandit, Bandit and Pop Lock and G, this I, I want you guys to uh, elaborate too. Uh, well, I want everybody to get in on this, but Midnight, based on what you're saying, I'm gonna tell you what Snap does, and it taught me something. He taught me something without teaching me something. I learned something from it. Just like I, I just asked everybody on here right now. I just asked everybody, what song gets you to want to get down, right? Well, mm -hmm. it's not always a song that does it. When me and Snap to dance together himself. as the West Coast Pop Lockers, I didn't know what Snap was doing, but before every show, Snap would find a reason for me to get mad at him. And I'll start fussing at his ass. Nigga, you ain't bought up or whatever the situation was and get mad at him. And then he made him get mad. Mm -hmm. And then he would take that energy mm -hmm. and express it on the dance floor. And it's on. It's and on and popping. He was doing this shit <laughs> on purpose. He was purposely starting fights with me to take the yep. energy, dog. To do it on the dance floor. And he, one day he, he told me, he said, cool, you know what? I was very hard on cool. I was very hard. I would point at him and shit. <laughs> you know, this shit is easy, cool. You know what I'm saying? We got to do this little corny shit, cool, before we get to where we going, cool. On, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, 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 it was a well-deserved training, man. You know, my uh baby's godfather. I mean, yeah, my uh yeah, my oldest daughter. Cool was standing behind me at the park, picking up his son. I'm picking up my nephew. And Cool started breaking behind me. I never turned around. But I if you know, you hear a cool voice. You ain't heard cool in three, four years, and you hear his voice. He was like, We need you for the pop lock and snap. And my, my boy turned around and said, hell yeah. So I'm in the group now. You know what I mean? So we did some training. We got busy. But it's all this. It was a lot of talking. It's a lot of talking to get your team back out there. You know what I'm saying? Get them motivated. And it, it was a challenge. It was, get you them always motivated. hear something saying you can't. It's too late. No. Uh-uh. This is out. You know what I mean? But no, we got to keep going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, but, but me and Cool, we was doing a show, what, every two weeks, every week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all still doing a show every two weeks, every week. <laughs> yeah, but you know what it was? I'm a practice head. I like to practice for two months straight for a 10 minute show. That's real talk. You, you know what I'm saying? So, I never get enough practice <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But we we got busy. Though. I'm on board with that one. I can never get an, enough practice because I'm, I'm like. Y'all want to know what I learned from Snap? Snap will make a we'll make a routine, right? Then we'll go and make another routine separate from that one. Then we'll go make another routine separate from that one. He's the first person that ever, I never thought about it. Let's take all three and connect, put them together and connect and make one long ass routine. That's how you do. Yeah, I mean, everybody got that. Mm -hmm. So everybody's supposed to have that. They don't. A lot of people supposed to. Right. They're supposed to. to. <laughs> you, you know what you want to. Yeah, if you guys yeah. think about this, you know what the routines was about in the 70s, 76 to Soul Train, Pop and Pete, when they was doing their little thing, you know, the corny one step, corny two step. We all was doing that when we started. But there's yeah. one thing about practice. Once you practice a lot, do the damn step, you can't wait to do what? Your what? solo. <laughs> yeah. That's real. You, can't wait to show your ass. you can't wait to sick. show your ass. That's what it was. And you, and you know you why my solo? You know why your solo gonna be sick? Cause cool, put some moves in. 
uh, uh, pop lock and G put some moves in. Bandit put some. I got Bandit's move. Wait a minute. You know what I do with Bandit's move? It goes with my groove now. So Bandit, he'll be like, "Nigga, where'd you get that from?" I say, "Bandit, I got that from you." You know, you yes, I did. <laughs> Ben so is he not knowing because he's not watching the moves. Brothers head up. Yeah, he's not because, thinking about the moves he's doing. That's why. Yeah, when we do our routines, I'm learning your what you put in there, and that's you now. I'm like, oh, that's how he was doing that, and that shit really amazes me. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep them hungry for a solo. Keep it off their mind, but they like learning while they learning a routine. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Because we all hmm. masters. I'm tired of this OG shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got niggas 30 years old running up on me, and I'm treating them like they 19, 17 years old. I'm that's like, why I think, that's one you 30 thing years I've old, never, huh? That's one thing I've never ever took a party in saying that I'm an OG or I'm a legend right, right, right. or the fabulous or. I've always, I've always a student to this game, bro. I feel like I just learned yesterday when I was practicing. You know what I'm saying? So when the new school come out, I just look at them like I'm still in this league. I, like, I don't see nothing like where people be like, oh, they, the new school advanced this or they did. No, bro, I'm, I'm like with them. Like, this is what I do. Like, we always come in the same way they way. Their tuts are coming. Now, their tuts are amazing. They have advanced the tuts in a way. You know, you got yeah. a lot of new, new cats that have advanced it, but like you said, we practice so much that I can't sit in the same style year after year. I have to advance and advance and advance and keep moving, see something right. motivates me and say, you know what? That's hot. I'm going to start moving my style or moving a move or moving a direction towards that style right there to advance exactly. my style, not to take from them, but to motivate me to move to another level. Exactly. Bandit, right. Bandit, bandit, bandit. Yes. I got a real good question I want to ask. And, and this is changing the subject. But when you were just talking, it made me think of something. And, and, Go ahead, know, brother. And, and most of the questions that I ask, I want to hear everybody's opinion. Bandit, I want, I want to hear yours first. Yours is going to okay. be interesting me the most on this particular question. And, and be honest. And this is not taking no jabs and no shots at them. No, no, no. Let's go, bro. Let's go. firing no shots, but it's just keeping it real. Let's Tell go. Tell me how you feel about the electric blues. Uh, Pertaining to the group, pertaining to each individual person, or just the whole, the electric blues as a whole? The group and the story behind them. Uh, Let's go. I truly believe that they're the most uh, exciting and advanced at the time that I met them, group that I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen nobody move like that, ever. I've seen great, great poppers because you got to remember. I met the Boogaloo's in the 70s. You see, Six, so, 76? No, younger than 76. Okay. Yeah, because I had to do my research on how old I was when I first started learning how to make a box. Because I think that entered me into the first style of pop locking, the way you put your shoulders like this, making the box, swallowing your head type of stuff. <laughs> all, of that, all of that was in before I saw the backslide. The first person I saw do the backslide was Skeeter Rap. Oh, now, that doesn't mean that it wasn't already out before I saw him, but that was the first person I saw do the backslide was Skeeter. So how do I feel about the Boogaloos? I think, I think after years passed and they changed their group, after the group changed, after Decky started uh, leaving, Papa Bruiser started leaving, Sam started leaving, and they started bringing in Wiggles and uh, different members of today. I feel that the style itself has dominated the industry to the point where if you're not a boogaloo, you're not a great dancer, or you're not a great popper, or you're not a uh, you're not considered quote unquote like the elite team. I think it's oversaturated with Boogaloo because they not, none of them is going to move like Skeeter and Pete. None of them is going to move like that.
but it's oversaturated. So to give an honest opinion how I feel about the Boogaloo's without taking a jab at them because I love these guys. I really do. I know. I, I think know. that I think that the history of their dance has oversaturated the market to make the name popping, pop locking, boogaloo style, strutting, robot, style, robot. all that is all like shambled up in this big ass argument. Excuse my language, but it's it's just a big freaking argument. And with that argument there, we really don't know the real truth on who created what. <laughs> we give Sam credit. We give the Oakland uh, strutters and hitters out there credit. You know, so how I feel about them, I love them. I just feel that the history needs to be told the truth. So since everybody has come with their truth, let their truth be their truth. Let each dancer dance to his own drum. So if they say they created it, that's what they say. Is that so what they, they say? They created it. That's what they oh, say. Yeah. So on, I kind of leave it out that? there. No, 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 no. I don't they listen to that. Sam is the founder. Boogaloo Sam. I never learned that from if, if he's the founder. Y'all got to understand one thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't mean to jump in this, but I, I, I got brain farts and shit. I'm getting old. <laughs> Listen to me. What they did was proper when they got on Soul Train, right? 1976, 77, because they had a robotter, a locker, and, uh, you know, they had the whole nine yards, if you say that, right? Okay. And routine, it's just like this. And a routine that we had not seen yet. Right. It's just like this. Our sisters, and I'm saying our because I know y'all heard this like I did. Are y'all better than them? And we wasn't. Do you understand what I'm saying? But it, that, what, 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 are you better than him? You're better than him. But that's like mama love, sister love, and this and that. But what they did do is put us on a map as cool and not gang members. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah, you could be recognized. But, but snap, let me yeah. ask Pop Lock and G something because he comes from a different county. Okay. He's on the Dago side. Pop Lock and G, did you guys give the Legend Boogaloo's that type of credit and love? Did y'all look up to them out there or what? Yeah, because because see, us being down in the south, the way the way we were introduced to the Electric Boogaloo was via Soul Train. So you you so it so being down in Dago, we kind of on an island. We wake up the Soul Train. We seeing these and to us like we seeing these four brothers getting off and sink. And we like, for me personally, I'm like fucking blown away. Like, oh <laughs> shit, these niggas just fucking it up. But then mm -hmm. now moving up now 30, 30 years later, it seems like because me, I grew up just knowing nothing but pop locking. I didn't really understand Electric Boogaloo or what the fuck it really was. And, and to be honest with y'all, I didn't even know what really spreading was. Because the way I grew up, either you were a, a, a locker or you were a popper. There, there, I didn't know nothing about no damn strutting or Electric Boogaloo had not came into, come, come into play yet. We were just straight pop lockers. But when I we agree with that. Boogaloo's on Soul Train, that's that, that, Kind of set a fire and and set a blaze. It, hey. it, it, it definitely was. It definitely was. I, want mid, I want midnight to answer this, man, because uh, this is rolling off. This is rolling off from talking about the electric boogaloo's because they don't believe they don't believe in using the term pop lock. So okay. I want, I want Midnight to, to, uh, to go ahead and get up, get off on that for a second. Well, it's, as far as them, when I when I first when I first first saw them on TV, I'm like, oh no, them brothers is cold. But it wasn't really? like it wasn't like what is this? You know what I'm saying? Because um, me, I, I grew up in the 20s hood. Rolling 20 Blood, so that's where I grew up at, 20th in Normandy. And it was a when I first was going to elementary school, to make a long story short, I had cousins. We all go to 24th Street Elementary School. I walk on the other side of Normandy, pick up six more cousins, and then go up there to pick up another cousin. It was a taller cousin. 
karate gene. He's in the mirror. Now, this is me in sixth grade. We're in sixth grade. <laughs> this is 74, 75. He's in sixth grade. He's in the mirror. He's already 19, 20. Big old dude. You know, that was the first generation blood for the west side of L.A. But that's a whole gang history. It's a whole culture. So I'm seeing him in the mirror. Boom. Ah. Boom. Ah. Hitting. You know, and I'm a kid. You know, because my mom was into dancing, party dancing. Stuff. She showed me two steps. She showed me luck. And then so me watching Dance Fever, me watching Dick Cavett, me watching um, Flip Wilson, when they have the variety acts and they have the party, you know, they're the different variety acts. I'm watching the Robotters. I'm watching the Lockers. So I'm seeing all this party dancing. And then when I see them, I'm like, the, the original ones, the six ones, I'm like, damn, who are these dudes here? So now I'm getting on my TV because I'm watching Soul Train every morning. But if you go outside and play football, you get on your skates or whatever, I'm watching like, damn, who are these dudes here? And they popping off a uh, Prince, Sexy Dancer. Oh, shit. We like, and I was hyped. I'm like, this is some different stuff, but it was different. It wasn't like the, the boom, bow, boom, the aggressive stuff, you know, the, the hood stuff. You know, it was on TV, and you know, Soul Train. That was a show all the blacks was watching, all the blacks in Cali, all the That's blacks scary. in the state. And they focused on the shit that we was doing out in Cali. So whatever this, the, the dancers were doing on Soul Train, People emulated, and I saw them. I'm like, oh shit! And then my my best one, it wasn't Skate, it wasn't Sam, it was Pete. I tell Pete, I'm like old oh, Pete. I don't like new Pete. I like old Pete. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like old Pete because it's boring. Yeah, That's the one. I like the new Pete. I like the I new Pete like too, but, but he was that, deadly. He was that old Pete was like wrong. The old know, Pete was real wrong. He was unpredictable. It was simple, but it was effective. You know, you know what? So now we do all this stuff here. So now they they cool. So now I don't like that flip it. shit, man. Here, this generation, because um, okay. sugar sugar pop wasn't an EV back then. When we grew up and saw Soul Train, correct me if I'm wrong, was Sam, Creeping Sad, Pete, um, Boozer, um. And Robert maybe Dane. one one other guy, but that's the ones that we saw. Robot Dane and Decky. Robot Dane, okay, Robot Dane. And then right. they, did an, they did another routine with the three of them and the black and white with the white bow ties with the black, the white suspenders. So Cat started wearing those too. So they was yeah. leaving an impression, but now that was the EB side. You still had the hood side, the, the game bangers that was doing already doing the pop locking. In the khaki suits, the ladders and stuff. That's something that the, they nobody was telling me. We was in the seventh about. grade. No, that's the exact yeah. what I'm saying. So cool to answer your question. The I saw I them. The yeah, let me hear it. No, no, no. They was cool. They was tight. I'm like, damn, that was tight. But I didn't forget what I saw on the Dawn show, mechanical mm -hmm. device oh, with the oh, white hats. They was they on was there tight. when you saw them. When I saw them, oh right. shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before Granny, the black, the black messengers, granny, and they had the okay. white faces. But with Granny too. But after I saw those messengers, they kind of set the standard. So when I see Granny, I'm like, okay, that's a looser version. But now when I see Electric Boogaloo's, okay, that's Southern California style. It's different. It was faster. It was looser. Okay, but it wasn't like, damn, what is that? I don't know what that <laughs> is. It wasn't that. It was just the brand. They was tight. They had their suits on. They was on prime time show. I'm like, oh shit! I want to be up on that level. You know, you know what I mean? They were doing it. Back in the barcades. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, barcades. <laughs> my, my favorite one was Pete. You know? Pete was my so, favorite one. So look, look, hold up, hold up. I like doing this. This is what this is what entertains me, homie. Bandit. Instead sure. of talking about the electric boogaloo's, Bandit. Can you recall the first time seeing? Not snap with the West Coast pop lockers, but snap with snap crackle and pop. Can I recall when I saw that? Yeah. Do you remember? Did you see them? Yeah, I did. I saw them in, I would say, 79, 80, 82, around there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And see, and just to iterate, just to iterate off of what Midnight was saying real fast, because we move, we kind of moving past that question. Mm -hmm. I do, I will say this. 
I don't care if they created it or who created it. They was the first ones I saw bring Boogaloo into United, to, to California. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Moving, swinging the hip, swinging right. the hip, the twist of flex, the way they were twist of flexing, because the neck of flex was already being done before I saw the boogaloos. I was already mm-hmm. popping and dancing and rollouting before I met them. Right. I was just rolling. Right. They, they get the credit for their boogaloo. They really do. And you can see the way they move today. They don't do king tuts. They don't do waving mm. all over the place. They boogaloo and they stay there. Skeet mm. will change up. Skeet and Peter will change up. But the boogaloos are, are the masters of the boogaloo. Mm. Now, if they got a beef with the Oakland people, that's their beef with them. Let them settle that right. in their history. I just know when right. I saw them, they were amazing. So everybody got a different story to tell a different history. If everybody right. will sit down together, connect the dots, put everything Correct. together, then, but that's not going to never happen. Even when I try to do the Popper's Pittings and try to get all you guys together, it's still hey, somebody's hey, missing see, here. I'm somebody's hey, missing hey, here. Hey, man, Speaking on that, that, are you having one um, coming up for next summer? After, after I get there with Phoenix, I'm gonna do the big one in Carson. We're well, go, go and ahead that, and promote that right now. Oh, um, it's gonna be after it's gonna be July the I think the 23rd. That's my goal, and that's what I'm um that's why I went to Atlanta. I'm invite them cats so they can come out Tennessee, Philly. Yeah, you are. It's, it's, it's dancers out cast. there, male and female dancers. I've been do- looking, talking to these people, and I've been reaching out to these people because of that Poppers ball, the comments. People thought it was a tour. It's a whole market of people our age. They want to see this shit. They want to. They don't want to see the youngsters. They want to see the cool boys. They want to see the snaps, the that's, bandits, that's the pop right, right here too. They want to see the midnights, hey. the mannequins. They want to see that stuff. Hey, cool it. boy. So I'm gonna cool try boy, to check. Uh, go ahead. Me, me, and Midnight is in the works. We talking about the first poppers ball. Right here in Vegas, and Snap, you already here in Vegas, so you you already know. We try we trying to do something like <laughs> imagine the first. We need to have that out here. We need already, to have one. That's where it should be. I'm that's coming. Y'all have the coming coming elegance. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah, wait, wait, wait. But you, between us five, between us five, I'm gonna go look at the um, the Hustlers Casino in Gardena. I'm looking at that. I'm trying to see how much they charge for rooms. If they do that. That's gonna be awesome too. But I was like, okay, Vegas might be a spot, you know. They, they got we, stages, we, dude. The youngsters had their fun, but what about us, Bandit G, Cool Boy Snap? What about us? What about the females that you know, is around our circle, our age? We want to have fun with all the without all the bullshit, you know. When I went to Atlanta, all them older dudes when they saw the footage later on, they missed out. They they trying to come to LA to mingle with us. That's, you they are. That's my goal. That's the goal. So look, man, let's let's have some more pop lock talk, man, because it's fun to me, homie. And it's interesting. What else on Saturday? <laughs> hey, pop lock and G. What's up, bro? When's the first time you seen my big homie One Arm Bandit get down? At at uh, Midnight's Poppers Ball. Tell me about it. How'd it go down? Cause that was a oh, hey, shit. Hey, I <laughs> really? Really? Right. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! One arm bandit. I got a picture with you in Hollywood. <laughs> hey, cool. That that you was that remember video. that right? That was one that video. I think that so. Yeah, had, I think I think so. Yeah. That oh, one oh, video oh. had like 30, 31, 34 had like million views. All them cast together. And that's when they first saw no. thirty four yeah. million. No. Million. No. Million. 84 million views. See? 84 See? million views? Yeah, I got I got a I got a I got a uh sorry sorry G. I know I know this is your moment right here. I'm just gonna say this real quick. I had got a uh, a phone Go call. I got a phone call from a lawyer, and the lawyer was requesting my information because I guess somebody on our panel was trying to sue the company that G because I think G and uh Oh boy, put the video up. They were trying to sue the African company so that we can get paid for the 84 wow. million views. That's Somebody that's was it, getting that's... paid off of that. I told you that. When that's I gave the information, up. when it got back to me, mm-hmm. there was nothing we can do about it, bro, because we didn't sign no release form. He's right. We didn't sign any information. It was a company that was filming. And they have license to film that was at your event, and they filmed it, 
and, and then put they it out took there. that film and put it on their website, which had over a hundred million people on their website. So man, that shit was crazy. Right? Yeah, we know who they are. Um, yes. It was Naders. It was wasn't it G? Wasn't it two of Naders people? Them two girls, them African I, girls. I, I I remember who it was, but yeah, no, yeah, it's cool. A, it's a company. It's a it's a African girls. Girls. No, man, no, company no cool. In but she did. Africa. She just took it and she she just put it on the um on her Facebook page just as normal, nothing special, just real and raw. It Next was three million know, views. There's a motherfucker hit me up. Twenty million views. Then it went up to thirty-four yeah. million. You know, views, well, at the you... end of the year, that shit was at eighty-four million views, bro. Hold on, hold on. So somebody went viral, right? That shit was crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all answer this. Is there a video of any pop locker alone with that fucking many views out of anybody? Yes. Who? Nonstop. Nonstop oh, yeah. went over 100 million views. Boom. Yep. The first time he came out, they pulled his video down and flipped it again and started yep. him back at zero. I he can is true. I can see that. He did that three times. I can see I that. Follow. He went over, he, like, and that's the video where he's at that that bus stop, where he's at this thing. He sits on the seat. Yeah. Is it me or is that dude look like he was built to potluck? He was built <laughs> for the battle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's you. It's you. But a lot of people are built to pop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cool. I knew what I was gonna do with you, mm. right? But I had to have you pissed off to take it serious because it was a matter of uh, 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 of not watching yourself in your head while you pop. It's hard to explain that. You know what I mean? Because we think we popping and we not. You see people doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like at yeah. the shows, you make people want to dance. So they try it, but they feeling it before they're actually doing it. And we all knew how to pop when we all hit the door. You know? Hey, G, but G, I need Juan, G, um, with nonstop, with nonstop, he's got a way of giving you eye candy from the age of 20, I'll say 25 to our age. Okay. He got that okay. candy. Wait, 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 wait. You need to answer that question. Well, then, nonstop is not. And I know you're not all into the OGs and double OGs and shit with Harm Bandit, but you are what you are, homie. You're a legend. Right, you're an right. OG. Nonstop, right. is it? So, no. when it comes to OGs, oh. one Harm Bandit got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got, yeah. he got the highest count. Right, right. Is that when it comes well, you know what I, I I did I did take a look at his video and I said what is it that made this boy's video uh, blow up so hard? He's not only one that's doing a hundred thousand views. There's 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 uh David David the one uh, the, the white boy that, elsewhere David elsewhere David elsewhere he's also done that. So mm -hmm. what I found out was is that Nonstop was the first dancer to ever go with a dubstep record and use popping to go. And when that hit the video, it blew it up. Because we were I don't dance to uh dubstep. <laughs> and I need music to boom cha patcha boom cha patcha boom cha patcha. Right. I need something going gaga 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 dun 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 dun. And, so and you see how you said that. that. They just really did. So the video. Do y'all consider the less twins pop lockers? No. 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 They're just good entertainers, but they don't no, get they're dancing, um, they're, You know what the cool boy had called them both. Not cool boy Gizmo had called them both out at, at IDA. IDA. They didn't want none of it. They didn't they want didn't none, want of, none of, that of it. They didn't want none of that. You know what? I watched them. They're dancers. They're, okay. they're dancers, but they've taken they're every. They've taken every single element from crumping to popping to locking to right. to and they're they just, twins. They, they they combined all the dances and made their own little style. It's cool. And they're twins. They it's cool. Imagine if we had a twin. And they're uh, twins. Uh, 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 That's a hell of a point right there. Oh, but gee, I, right. I need, need it. Um, cool boy, have G answer that question about Bandit because he's yeah, gonna yeah, tell yeah, you some yeah, shit right yeah. there. That's yeah. what I want to hear. 
Cause that's that that so, night was crazy. That night was crazy. That, cool. Crazy, see, man. Snap and cool. Y'all wasn't there. And then I'm and then I'm gonna explain to you guys. I'm gonna go into about what Bandit. I'm gonna elaborate on what he was talking about about the video <laughs> while it went viral. While we missed a lot of money. But um. So anyway, <laughs> first met Bandit and, and 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 the little our little circle started. You know, folks started going out one by one. And then here comes Bandit with his with his with 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 the stripe the striped uh. Like like uh, jacket, jacket on, mm-hmm. sports jacket. And the unique thing about pop locking is when you see somebody do shit you never seen before. That is what sucks you in. And Bandit started doing all types of shit that I never seen before. And then when he gets into his routine and does that, <laughs> you know that, that, you know what I mean, and did that one leg drop. Oh my God! And did the low rider shit? I've never seen that shit. See, we know we seen, he cool and snap. We seen him. We know when he's getting set up for it. You just haven't seen it, but I know he's going to do. He's going to set up for it. The people didn't see it. The people were ready. Oh, oh right. yeah, it's, it's classic moves for us. It's yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, and for the for a person with you no know, brand new eyes, it's like God damn! What the fuck he just right. did? So so now let's so let's get to the, to, to the video going viral. So by the time we dropped that video from 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 it shows me coming out from the beginning to all all everybody joining in. By the time, like Bannon said, we dropped that damn video. It went so viral so fast. fast. We didn't have a chance to fucking do what we should have done to everybody right now could be sitting here practically probably. Ben didn't even know it was on his thing. I had to call Ben and tell bro, he you sure know what on your yeah, bed? So he had to look down we're because of the female. Me. When Midnight but, called but, me, but, he said, he said, hey man, do you know that video went viral? I go, what video? He goes, the pop. I said, oh, that's cool. I've kind of figured it. Well, he goes, nah, I'm going to send you the, I'm going to send you the picture. It was at 8 million. You know what? Nothing clicked, me up. My, nothing clicked in my head to say, Hey, we need to get bread off of that. I didn't know. Bandit, a girl but, told me about it. I didn't know nothing about that video. I, I didn't know nothing about that video. I got to understand oh, one thing. Y'all got to understand one thing. Y'all got caught in the zone. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't know what we had. We don't. We yeah, don't. I can push a button and go in the zone. Going viral the was the intent. But no, no, the real, no, 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 no. Cool. We dressed up. We dressed up in suits, ties. You know, head to toe. We suited and booted, but we getting down. And people thought these are youngsters dressed up like old dudes trying to get out. No, like, these are the real so ones. You know, you got to fucking. Mm-hmm. You got to. For the next one, it happened again, homie. You I was. Right, no, I'm, I'm, I'm working on to something. Seize the cameras, check, check, bro. Whoever yeah. coming through that door, they got cameras in their hand. Get at them. I know. Yeah. Look, hey, I, hey, what they gotta do? It wasn't video. no camera, camera. It had. It was a cell phone camera. It wasn't a regular camera. It wasn't a regular camera. Remember also, uh, 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 pop lockers got some classic shit. Maybe we need to start making niggas toss their cell phones in a bucket. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> what I was about man. to say. Because look, look, let me look. tell you guys something. Go ahead, oh, go ahead, pop. Not not only did uh, the people videotape that went viral. Remember midnight that video got uploaded to World Star Hip Hop uh, oh, platform. Whatever, and then it even uh. quadrupled. Cool boy, when World That's Star Hip Hop got a hold of that bitch, that motherfucker went from Africa to Taiwan. Uh, 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 really remember. Is. People in, in look, UK, look. UK was tripping off them like, hey, man, I, they, look, at, look at this video. This event is jamming. I'm like, that's the Puppers Ball. They were like, oh, shit. Let me, let, me, let me say this real quick. Here's the secret. If Shaquille O'Neal had to grab that video, yeah, it would have went triple viral, but Shaquille would have got the money. You follow what I'm saying? It would have had nothing yeah. to do with us. It was, so whoever puts your video on their platform, they got the video they goes viral. Got that mm-hmm. person gets paid because they already have a platform, and that's what happens yeah. in the video. Hey, I'm going to need to interrupt us, but um, this is something that I'm going to do as a, as a pop locker um, on my show. Uh, somebody mentioned Skeeter Rabbit's name. We need to bow our heads again for five seconds, homie. Got you. Oh, yeah. Right. Pop lock love Skeeter Rabbit, man. Wow. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all something that a lot of people don't know. I went to the funeral. 
Skeeter Robinson? Yes. Oh, 98. The, 98 I'm Vermont, the right? only one that videotaped the whole funeral. Me mm. and T me and 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 Tubmaster, we got that lady. It was on 98th in Vermont, right in the hood. And a lot yeah. of these dudes, they never been up in the hood like that. That's right there, right across street from from 99 Mafia Hood, right across the street, in that little small white church. You know, when Skeet left this earth, bro, it just became a complete silence about his death. I couldn't yeah. find no information. Mm -hmm. No one wants to talk about it. Same with Shabadoo. When Shabadoo left here. I'm trying to get the info. Nobody wants to talk about it. it. It's just to me, it's 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 heartbreaking, bro. It's not bad. to it's not bad. to come Man. and tell me. Like I know the story, but behind the scenes story, it's, yeah. it's almost like that's none of my business in a sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I had to right. let it go. Right. But I do have the video. I do have the funeral. You know. And so you know if what? If the family wants to reach out to me, I have the video. You guys can reach out to me. We got to give it up for one more legend that I still think about, man. You know what's crazy about this legend? I never got a chance to meet the brother, and we was and we was like this. Yeah, oh, y'all yeah, know I lost pop. Oh, was yeah. it last year? Time oh, yeah. going so fast. What did you say? Harry Berry. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He was just over here before oh, he passed. He went right to. Here. He left give my me, house and went to cool for five that. Seconds. When he say somebody's name, give me that five seconds. Break. Well, here, no, look, look, know look here, from look here. Snap, crackle, and pop. Well, look here, that's, that's the wall right now. Give me a second. I'll read the names real quick. These are all the ones I try to put well, wait, it because I have made wait, this wall. No, no, no. Let him read the names and then we'll bow at the end. No, okay. no, no. No, you didn't read names. It's 3D it's a lot Bop. Of names. 3D Bop. See, because a lot of these names people don't know about. 3D Bop, Turbulent, Steve, Fossil, Playboy Rob, Randy. That was with the Messengers. Penguin. That's um um rerun. Uh, rerun. rerun Granny Little Tough Wavo Babatron Deuce Greg Jr. Skeet Cosmo Battletron Cecil King Rattler T Tiger Yarnell Animation Mime of the Times Domino Cisco Kid Pop Tick and Wheel Tut Master from New Mexico G Wiz Godfather Don Campbell Hold on Hold on Tyrone Frisco Real Robot, Boogaloo Dan, um, Vic, Mr. Wizard, Diamond D, Shabadoo, and Noodles. Damn. Hey, so I got this hey, I hey, I appreciate you having that midnight. You know what's yeah. trip, man? I want to bring this up uh, real quick. Um, Greg Camelot. Y'all don't know this, homie. Do you know Greg? Was, they were about to do his a, a movie on Greg. Greg actually called me to play him. I said, man, mm -hmm. I'm not a locker like that. He was like, I don't care, cool boy. I want you to play me. And the movie wow. was going to do. And he wow. died right after he called me and asked me to do that. He died like a month later. That's wow. sad. Wow, that's crazy. See, yeah. fellas, life is too short. And, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm thing, doing. After you, know? you doing that road call, midnight, <laughs> did y'all pay attention that Don Campbell, who is also the, the, cre the creator of the dance locking, Died at the beginning of the year, and then the baby of the group, Shabadoo, died at the end of the year. Yeah. Did y'all notice that? It's a lot you of know. crazy circumstances with different situations. Don it's died crazy. at the beginning of 2020, and um, Shabba died at the end of the year. But they took Shabba. Uh, they took they took Shabadoo from us, man. He wasn't supposed to die, dude. A lot I mean, of people I, wasn't. I know I sound yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'm back. I'm feeling good. I, I shook this. Yeah, thank you. That's what I, that, that didn't make no sense to me. You know, with all this stupid COVID, man-made COVID stuff, it didn't make sense to me. You me know. Me I, 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 and I don't really, I, I got to be quiet. I got to I gotta chill. That's why, that's that's why me personally, that's why I be so hard on cats, especially doing stuff. Yeah. Like, doing. like, for example, Snap, sorry, I got to ask you. When I asked you who was that dude on the blue crate, and you told me that was um, Hitmaster um, Fish's son? Yeah. Okay. Tell him to cover that, bro. Cover that crate up, but black or something. You know, he's a stuff. baby, dude. He only 21 years old. I told him to put his diaper on. He's still <laughs> running down the street with my diaper. <laughs> what you mean, cover the crater? No, because you know, you know, 
it was standing out. The way Snap got his oh. outfit and his stuff together, it was standing out. And he needs to make it more uniform because the stuff that we do is high level. So if a person doesn't know certain things, it's okay. <clears throat> Educate him to keep the level high, did. keep the quality high. You know, uh, he's, 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 but see, he being trained at work. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. So okay. I'm like, dude, you know, like what you said, you know, you're going to have to do something with that. But he, he gets a new one every day. You know what I mean? You know, how, okay. you know it, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I don't know how we was at the age. No, I do. We were grown men at the age of 21. <laughs> These boys now at 12. They at 12 years old. Shit, these you know 30 I mean? year olds act like they're 12. That's because they're, that's kill, what that's I'm because they're still you. kids. That's because they're still but, kids. I guess we spoiled them. I think Cool Boy told me that. We spoiled our kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, Cool yeah. Boy, and, you know, talk, up, talk about your thing coming up in, in, in January. Tell, tell them that's what you was going to do. I don't know if they know. January 22nd well, will be the next one, you guys. Um, Snap, Pop, Lock, and G, you guys missed a great event, man. Um, Midnight came out as the mannequin. He did the damn thing. He was at my front door putting it down. We had putting it DJ down, man. Awesome. Right next to Midnight. Uh, I like Midnight that DJ. Midnight kind of set the tone. Did. He kind of set the tone for the homies to start getting down right where he yeah, was. Yeah, he did, at. bro. He really <laughs> right. did. Yeah, That's right. Right. Then, um, Just trying to set the mood. But what you got coming up? That's then, what I want you to tell uh, the people. Yeah, this is January 22nd. We'll be the next, um, you know, I call mine to go and head up. Go ahead and pop lock and battle. But what I might do, Midnight, is I might do a, a, a all legend, legends only, OGs only, OGs do pop lock and battle. Why don't we all just age. Don't tell me. Should I do it 42 years old and up? 40 and up. I do 45. 40 and up. Right I don't, I don't and think up. it should be, I don't think it should be based on an age thing. I just be everybody knows who OG is. <laughs> just say yeah. OG. Or old veteran. We yeah. know yeah, if, right, if, right. if you know oh. if uh if Jay Smooth shows up, we know he ain't OG. <laughs> so I, don't think I just want the I just want thing. the older cats to have some fun. I just want the older cats and ladies. That's what I'm saying. Set a platform. That's all. That's all. Yeah. That's yeah. it. If the new school show up, they know what new school and old school is. Mm -hmm. Everybody had know a, who OG is. They know. Had a great parent, great grandparents come in. They want to have some fun. Let them, you know. Right. Well, if, you look at, if you look at some quick. of the guys for uh, TV shows, then most dancers did on the it, for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So that lets you know, like, oh, his work alone can make you an OG. But I'm yeah. having the age to say, right, right, oh, I've right. been doing it for 40 years. Well, yeah, right. but this guy's done 400 shows in one year. Right. right. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. that can make you an OG within a sense because your work speaks for itself, too. Yeah, hey, that's right. That's and right. Then, yes, sir. Man, let's watch this real quick. Can y'all see this? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, hey, we'll California break their ass off something, dog. Yeah, I'm trying to see who that is. It looks like Bandit. It's Bandit. I can tell by the, by the top of his... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's Bandit in the black? I'll take them. They like the vibe that Brandon brings. Cause you know he likes to show his ass. And I get to take you back your height. You can't go no left. That's it. Right hey man, then I still want that jacket. I don't care what you say. I want that jacket. We gotta figure Bro. out how we gonna do it. Bro, if I show you my new jacket, you gonna lose your mind. I wish I was still growing so I could get y'all old clothes. <laughs> I heard that, man. See, man, they be thinking we don't pay attention. I pay attention to all that stuff. I, I, got, I got that jacket right here in my hand. And Snap, you laughing. I want that black hat that you always wearing. I be asking you about that black and white. You thought I forgot about that. <laughs> okay.
Oh my god. See, that was just too much energy. It was, it, that piss, that show pissed me off. I'm wondering where you getting that energy from. You look like you like 21 years old. I know everybody's right? saying that. Oh yeah, that's See what it is, our minds are still we still think we're young and can do it, but then the body no, is no, no. You, you, no, you, no, you, no, you are still, still young. young. No, you still young if you do it. Yeah, you are still young. Make sure you we are. talk about that. Make sure we talk about that. We're like you about to set up, see you about to set it up. He gets his waves to make it right. He's about to set it up. Shit, he, he ain't missing a, a, a bone. I mean, his nose is complete. Let's go. You intimidate those kids like that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 then he leans it over to the left. That's what I like. Oh no, he wobbled it. Wow, he killed that shit. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. Um, G, snap and yeah. You guys say as strong as me. You know yes, what? Man. You know what? Do you know what I noticed about you just now? Show it again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I he finds the bad Yeah, that step is pretty tight. Man, you don't like watching yourself, huh? Every time you watch yourself, you upgrade, don't you? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, who said yeah. that about? I don't know about. If you search my name and look for a video, you ain't gonna find it on me. You may find mm -hmm. a little pop at the pop picnic. You may find something like that. The reason why, bro, is because what messed me up is because every time I have so many moves and so many different styles that it takes mm -hmm. me about a good, honestly, about a good four to five minutes to warm up to show my stuff. I feel so every show that I ever went to, they always say, Okay, Ben, you're up. You only got uh, a minute and a half. You only got 60 seconds. You got two minutes, wow. Bandit. Bro, that right there shut my whole entire style from way out there to all the way down to right there. And in between here, I put the knee slides, the king touch drop, and the low rider. <laughs> That's what you get. Every time okay. you see a performance from me, that's what you that's get. What so dudes, dudes, now check this shit out. So dudes that don't know me, they go, oh yeah, man, I seen him bust. Yeah, he got the low ride, he got this, but he, that, that's, part of, that's pretty much it. And then they yeah. call me out. And then they call me out, and they get a rude awakening. Yeah, they get a lot of you didn't tell me. It really did. You really going to that arsenal, oh, huh? Oh my god, then I come out street on them, and they don't know I had all that. shit. They had no idea I had all that. Yep, hey, but what? But I want to say this ask everybody this question, man. What year you started pop pop? Oh my God, that's a that's a scary question, bro. Ooh. I want to say seventy two. Good grief, seventy two. Why don't you? Why don't you? Well, because I can't. I can't add up. See, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, that's because what, it was hard. a robot thing. Shields and Yainels was going, and, and Michael Jackson was doing little, and James Brown and Nicholas Brothers was doing a little, and it was so much going on until I seen Mechanical Device, the electric boogaloos, and I started saying, oh, this is a different way to travel on the floor. You don't have to just stand in one spot. You can slide over here, slide over there. 
or you can do the walkout and get over like five more steps over. I would say I started honestly probably about 72, 73, 74. Like that. So what year was it for you? It's 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 hard to say, <laughs> you know. I was my, there my, for mom, midnight. my mom was already taking me to these parties and I'm dancing with her, holding her hand. She's showing me how to two-step. And then when we had little family gatherings, I wasn't trying to wasn't popping, wasn't even out there. Just regular dance, locking, roboting, and doing the bump, doing the hustle, um, the funky. The slide. <laughs> and then that disco was jumping off too. So I'm trying to do all that. I'm a, I'm a, honestly maybe, like I said, sixth grade. That's when I saw Karate Gene, and he was already big. You know, back then the game band and stuff was like the original format. So if you was that one, you was there. It would be no different. And I'm going to say, when I first, like, okay, that's what I want to do. Getting in the mirror, start practicing. Because I was already, like I said, trying to do robot and lock in, but hopping. I'm going to say 76, 77. I'm gonna it was 77. That. I'm going to have to. Because then I went from Berendo, and that's when I saw Good memory. It was three milkmans. It's three milkmans Jerry yeah. Cooper, Roosevelt yeah. Wilson, and Fred McMillan. Roosevelt Wilson went to Marindo. And this is eighth grade, and he's dancing off uh, Knee Deep, the long version. Because back then it was predominantly Hispanic school. So when they did the, um, the talent show, he was the only black act. So all the blacks, the black kids, we was all like, oh, yeah, we was hyped. Because he's representing for the blacks, busting. I'm like, okay, I want to get on stage and do that. Then I go to Manuel, 10th grade, Pop Lock City. It was like Pop Lock High, you know, but I was already So I'm, I'm going to say 76, 77. 76. Snap. Yeah. What year was it for you, man? 78. I started popping in 78, 77. I started robot in 76, Robot See? Prince, right? And that was all I was doing. You know how I started popping, right? I had this pop locking group called Fantastic Five. We was kind of weak, <laughs> but we was trying to grow, right? So the Magnificent Dancers, their uh, comrades of Royal Flush, was uh, looking for a guy to looking All for right. a little man, a little guy to lead off. Now my whole group was little, so we went down there and I did a Coke Forty Five, and now you got snapped. And that was in 77, summer of 77 or 78. And that's wow. how I started. Cool boy. I what mean, they you? needed somebody short to lead yeah. off the group. What about you, you cool know? boy? Um, I'm going to say it was 19. Y'all niggas is older than me, man. So um, it, was, it, was, it was 1980. 1980 for me. Yeah, 80, 81, 82. See, 79, 79 through 80, no, 81. 80. That's when it was that's when it was gritty. 77, 78 through 81. That's when it yeah, was but, gritty. Grimy. But cool was is blurry. young. Everybody was cool blurry, is man. young. I, I got a question for you. I got a question for all you guys. Wait, 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 oh, I'm wait, sorry, G. G. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, G. Wait, where did you start? So my, my story is very, very similar to, I think, because me and Ed, we're about the same age. I'm 56 right now, so mine's kind of similar to you, man. I remember moms and pops throwing parties, and, and, and I kind of remember seeing the funky worm and all these different dances. So, And around that time, like Snap was saying, the, the robotting, I kind of started with the robotting. And then I think what fucked me up was, was when Michael Jackson came into play. Because before I was a pop locker, I was doing Michael Jackson talent shows and and just killing killing day go but then I, around, I think i'm gonna say and, uh, and then i, I want to say what turned me out was when i went and seen this when i went up to lincoln high school and seen the sunshine pop lockers up there in the talent show and i want to say that must have been uh cool but around 80 81 82 I, after i seen uh sunshine pop locking at, at lincoln high school in that talent show I was done with fucking Michael Jackson. I had to be a pop locker, so <laughs> I think he's <laughs> done. He's done. <laughs> wow. It's crazy, fellas, because for me, I'm in the stands, right? I'm in I'm in the audience, 
And I've seen these four dudes up on stage start doing their pop locking thing. And I still can remember like yesterday it was like one of the most amazing things I ever seen where they was <laughs> all in rhythm. And then and then the one dude started doing the backslide floating. And back then, I don't know if y'all remember, <laughs> well, y'all do because we all brothers. A lot of pop lockers was gang banging back then. So I remember the homie, he was backsliding right. at the same time throwing up his gang sign. So for me, I was like, yeah. I was blown the fuck away. Like right. this, this nigga's banging and he's back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of people every, don't want to talk hood about. Dead bang had a popper in their in their in their gang. Every That's Mexican right. gang, black gang, right, more right. gang. That's where we came from. That's right. Where came, yeah. That's where it okay. came out banging. Like so, hey, you have to be know, hard. As y'all know, 80, the winner, the winner of uh, my going head up pop locking battle was won by a funny bones member. Yeah. I've seen that. You know, he's from up out of Arizona. He's a young dude. Yeah. And his name is uh, Decoy. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hands on. Hands on. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting the Vatican. Midnight. <laughs> Who would you guys like to see go up against this kid? I would like, yeah. to, see Smooth, I would like to see Smooth Galaxy get out with him. I like to see Jay Smooth go go up against. That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be. That would not be right. <laughs> I say Jay Smooth. Galaxy is. I would like to see Papa John go up against the Sharks. Yeah, that's hey, dope too. Sharks. You think Papa John? You think he can handle Papa John? Well, uh, if I had to say that on the air, I don't know Papa John personally, but I'm sure he knows who I am. If I had to say it on the air, I don't think okay. I don't think John could touch Decoy, man. You don't think yes. so? Nah, because if they come together within the next six months, Decoy is going to be harder. See, Decoy is... He, he, he stays Remember practicing. He, won the last he stays one. practicing. He stays in that lab. Now you see him, he's going to be better. I've seen Pop and John stuff. Pop and John is more of an entertainer popper. He's not yeah. really a battle trained right, battle right, popper. Right, right, right. Decoy is a battle popper. I saw that. He's more for show. I started moving, I was like, this boy got some stuff like me. Like John is more. John is more for show. John is more for show, and like Decoy see, is more. Who would you like that's to see what I'm battle? thinking. Who would you like to that's see go Because um, Decoy, he's good to go. Like some poppers are good for show, but Decoy, he's good to go. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's I'm trying to think. There's a, there's a, um. A, a cat from 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 Texas. Um, he's pretty wrong. Um, What's his name? Man, yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's a black guy. He's trying to. Get hey, to hey, him. Hey, yeah, he I got that like little hood smooth calling. Galaxy and decoy game. I want to make it happen. Well, 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 look. Can, can you get in touch with uh, Smooth Galaxy? Did he show up? I can get to the but I can I can hit him up. I can hit him up on his Instagram. Well, see, that's a, that's a, that's a very that's another trick. Uh, uh, tri that's hard. It's too, hard to say. You know, <laughs> when you deal I mean, with that a person, would be a good battle that would be a good battle. It would, but but when you start pinpointing who you want to attack another pop locker, it's kind of unfair because you're saying now like like right if you if you said like. I would like to see a category of these members battle each other. That works great. But when you say who you want to see go against the one armed bandit, and somebody say Anthony King, right. then it's like you guys are putting me in a in, in a bad circle because I don't want to battle that mm -hmm. <laughs> he's you. He's and that's no, so you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Shazam. I'd want to see Shazam. I'd want to see Shazam. I would want to see Shazam. If Shazam is focused, I'll pay to see that. I, will pay to see that. I don't know if he can handle Shazam. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I would see Shazam. He'd be right. Hey, you know who else is dope in the new school, too? I like uh, Slim Boogie, man. Slim Boogie. I When I first saw his style, I thought it was, I thought it was all over the place, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and then a lot yeah, of stuff he was doing didn't make sense to me. It just, but then when I started really like looking at him and seeing what he's creating, he's very creative. And this generation is all about your creativity. 
how creative are you? Mm-hmm. He's awesome. He's a nice, he's he's a good, he's a good dancer. Him, J Smooth, it's, it's quite a few of them out there that's killing the game right now, man. Mm-hmm. Decoy, you know. You but know, you know but, what I'm Let me tell you guys something. I don't know. I couldn't be a judge. I couldn't be a judge. You know why I couldn't be a judge? Because I'll yeah. look at the dude, the first move he do, and the first move he do, I already know who won. <laughs> and I'm well, not wait. changing my mind. And here's another you cat, too. <laughs> well, that's but but way, that's only hey, because that's I'm a popper. Judge. That's your judge. But, but no, no, because I'm a po- if I wasn't a popper, it would be different because I am very picky. Mm. Yeah. Right, but also right. in the candy store and look for one candy bar, and I'm looking at all of them before I get one, dude. Oh, yeah, also, cool OGs boy, a, goofball. OG, OG dancers are very honest dancers. Yeah, you can't get on a song and go, un, 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 and then on the right, up, right up when the song goes, duh, 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 and you go, duh, 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 and everybody go, ooh, okay, right. that's fine. But what right. about his style? He right, to the beat. he knows the record, but what about his style? Is he dope? And a lot is he, of them is he technically with that? So, is he connected with that? I see what you're saying. Right. Right. That's where, true. Where, they'll scream. Where, where they'll scream all stuff okay that people that. do. He, he went across the country with old girl. He's in um the the Netherlands. Argentina? The he talking about my girl. goofball? Yeah, I like yeah. the goofball. Goofball and decoy. That will be. No, he's good. out in the Netherlands. He'll be back. Netherlands. He'll be back. He's coming back. But what is but Dante. Doing these days? Out here, he's been working out. He's been working out. Someone said G Wave is now part of uh, Tony Bone. Bone's crew. Yeah, yeah, he always should have been. Okay, yeah. hey, but they but hey, Cool Boy and Bandit, I I, I got ten dollars on 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 Shazam. He'll be decoy. I ain't, gonna bet, I ain't gonna bet against neither <laughs> one of them. Listen, I know that's I ain't gonna bet against neither one of them students because those students don't they're not cut from the same cloth I'm cut from. You know, I go up again. I like if somebody say cool boy going again, cool boy cut from the same cloth I'm cut from. Mm-hmm. Midnight cut from the same cloth I'm cut from. So I'm gonna be able you. to say, Oh, I think midnight gonna take him out. Mm-hmm. Decoy, he's he's got some of our new style. generation a lot of our style in there, but I don't know who taught him, I don't know how long he practiced, I don't know his training abilities, I don't know how far he's gonna go, I don't know his weight size is gonna hinder him in five years. Well, I, I can't. Mm. I can't. I wouldn't bet on none of these new school ca- kids. I wouldn't. Well, I, that I makes sense. What, I can see what Midnight is saying. First of all, Shazam is one of my babies. I'm okay. My babies, uh, so of course I'm gonna say yeah. That that can happen too. Okay. But, see, I don't. I don't. I never seen Shazam get out. The potential. Well, the potential. He's got the potential here. there. Huh? That was his brother in the blue. Oh, the twins. Well, they're not yeah. twins. They oh, look they like to me. Oh, remember the two brothers, hey, cool though, right? You yeah. saw him at um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. saw him at yeah, the picnic. Huh? You yeah, saw him at the picnic. Yeah, they you know. saw him at the picnic in Carson. He saw him at the yeah, picnic in Carson. Okay, That's yeah, I think they would give. I think they would give. Yeah, decoy run. Yeah, definitely. And so That's with Green man. Tech, Green Tech is dope. You know, MT Pop is dope. I never seen MT Pop. I've seen him. I never seen him in person. Bro. They, 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 he getting down. Hey, they no, getting so down. I give him props. One on bad. I, I, I'm gonna always continue to salute you. You a big homie. I appreciate your time and consideration, man. The fact that you want to stay on my judging panel as long as you want that seat, I'm gonna keep you in. Midnight dancing. We gotta get our communication stronger. I want to support you and everything that you got going on. I'm gonna do my best to be at that. Um, uh, 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 not the Poppers picnic. I'm gonna come to that, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do that Poppers ball. I wanna be at that Poppers ball in Vegas. Cool. You gonna have so much fun. Trust me, man. Bro. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, and really the food is good. Really the food good. was so good. <laughs> An OG snack. So good. Yeah. Hey right, man, I'm coming to Vegas soon, so I'm coming to see you, homie. I think I'll be out there next month on the 21st or the 20th, like that, for a low rider thing. So I'm gonna tap you on the shoulder. We homies for life. Pop Lock and G. Hey, man. Keep us on the history with the San Diego side, you know. We are LA <laughs> and Watts and Compton and Linwood and Gardena and Inglewood type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's good That's to right. be a part of the family, homie. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Hey, y'all. The purpose of doing this shit, man, is to make, you know, everything has an industry. 
The rappers have the rap industry. The actors have an industry. Well, the pop lockers have an industry. And I'm going to make it an industry by us having conversation like this. So it's now a pop lock industry because we having pop lock talk. Y'all get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. I appreciate all y'all time and consideration, man. We got to bring this to a wrap. Pop lock love to all of Okay, I just, want, I just want to say one thing before we go, bro. Uh, my gift come from the most high. I'm into the word. Amen. All the dancers that have already mm -hmm. lost their life, man, I pray to God that they were into the word, that they expected they respected Christ. So, you know, it's good for us to know that, you know, we put him first. That's who gave us right. his gift. Put him first. Speak on him when you are in these events. And that way, when we go, we know that person's already protected. I wouldn't even be so talking about without him. To the yeah. World. He doesn't give us, we wouldn't be us if it wasn't for him. That's the thing. Absolutely. You know, so hey, we all bring some different paper. Me. Hey, I was supposed to have screws. I was supposed to have screws. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. The doctor yeah, we see the cat. The guy said, oh, no, not my pop locker. Just keep him in the cash. Y'all ain't cutting him. That's yeah. right. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, we must dialogue again, man. I like your platform, man. You did. You did it's really nice, man. Yeah. I mean, we we went into some different areas and stuff, you know. But yeah, right. Yeah, it's we're unity. Supposed to, though, right we're supposed it, to have been it. We're supposed to go in different areas instead of yeah. staying in the same areas. Yeah. Hey, hey fellas, I was, I was able to. I was able to take a. I was able to take a still picture of all of us on the uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. I'll tag all you guys on the picture when I put it on Facebook. All right. Got you. Hey, 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 Bandit, hey, don't think you're getting away with it, bro. I still want that jacket. And Snap, I still want that hat. So y'all think y'all can get away with shit. And, and hey, Bandit, you got to get the face for it. He'll be my my clothes will be all up on his shoulder, you know, my little long <laughs> sleeve will be on his shoulder. You better get out my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pop my love, I'm out. Booyah, what's pop locking, y'all? If you have not subscribed to Cool Boys Boxing Cap, that's the Captain, man, push that, push that button. Come on, push that button and subscribe. That way we may be able to send you an email and bring you on our show. Pop lock talk. Drop. This show drop. matters to you. Know, let everybody drop. know that drop. you know you got the rap so industry, the you got the hip hop industry, you got the acting industry. Man. There's a such thing now. Pop lock. This is what we're talking about right here. Cool boy sponsoring Captain Dad's Academy. Booyah!